Well, hello, I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Each Wednesday, I'm sharing with you a word for the week. And the purpose of this is to try and give us some tools to refocus our minds. Many years ago, James Allen wrote a book, the title of which is, As a Man Thinketh. It's taken from the King James translation of Proverbs 23, 7. As a man thinketh, so is he. So controlling our thoughts is the key here. And one of the ways we control our minds is to control our words. The letter of James says that if you put a bit in the mouth of a horse, you can control it. So if we can control our words, we can steer our minds and our attitudes and our whole lives. Last week, our word was awesome, which focused on wonder and amazement at what God is doing. I hope you said it at least 10 times last week, and it helped you to be more present in the wonder of God. This work, this week, the word is amen. Now you can say amen if you prefer. We usually say amen in worship and music, but the colloquial pronunciation in the South has certainly been amen. And I think you can add a little more emphasis with the a, amen, but it's your choice. Now, most of us think that the word amen means the end at the end of a prayer. But that isn't what it means at all. It means, so be it. The word means yes, and not just yes, but yes, absolutely. It's, a, it's used often in Scripture, over 50 times in the New Testament. John uses it more than any other author. And it's used in Deuteronomy and in the Psalms as well. So to say amen has three implications. The first is agreement. If I'm preaching and you shout, Amen, it's a way of saying, yes, I agree, that's right. Let me add my affirmation to that. You see, if prayer is not just about talking, but listening, about being in the presence of God and allowing God to lead us, when we say amen, we're saying, okay, God, you win. I agree. Second, the word amen means action. It's the move from words to action from intention to initiation. It, it, it means, um, so be it, let this actually happen, not in just words, but may it become a reality. If prayer is about building partnership with God and aligning us with God's agenda, then amen says, all right, let's do this. And third, the word amen implies participation. It's signing on to God's agenda. It's put me in, coach. I think it was Harry Emerson Fosdick who said that praying was like being in a boat with a rope that was hooked to a, a rock. And that when you pull on the rope, it appears that the rock is coming closer to us. But the truth is we're being pulled closer to the rock. When, when we are uh, praying and we say amen, we're, we're signing on for God's agenda. So um, I hope you'll say amen at, at least twice a day in your prayer time and maybe some other times as well. And when you do, you'll be not just saying the end, but you'll be saying yes, yes, absolutely. Let's do this thing. I love you, St. Luke's. See you on Sunday.